wasn't sure what to say. <laughs> okay, oh, well, please. Got it. Slow. Nuke on misery. If he gets nuke. Wow, that's some magic damage. Lot yeah, that's where you pull out the Zeus ulti with the Ancient Seal. And Fata now in trouble as well. He's got stick charges. I don't know if that's going to be enough. One more Fate Bolt in three seconds. Fata gets back to safety. Comes here. Phoenix with a supernova kill. on three. They can't kill the egg. He hit the fire spirits on everyone. They lose two. Oh and Resolution gosh. can't get out. He gets hit by the stun now. He's going to take taking up fire spirits as well as the dive. And this is going to be a three hero swing from Bone Seven. Amazing wow. Phoenix play. Triple kill for him. Great TP. Great kill. And that's going to catch him up so much. He was he was zero strong. Echo three damage is very very high. And if you get the attack speed order, which he does Loki's have, nearby. They scatter things out from the high ground with the Zeus. They're going in. Big Egg no -tail has a black hole. They want to finish off Roshan with Envy first. And it looks like they will do so. The Mystic Flare off the mark. And Cloud9 secure Roach. Yoki, not really here where they want to go. And despite the roll, good Kronos here from Silent. Catches out your Enigma and your Beastmaster, neither of which has the Aegis. A Supernova comes out from Bone7. That's going to look to knock everyone in place. The Omni Slash goes through Silent. Is he going to go down to the Pugna right click? He does. Oh, Misery picks up that kill. And they want some more with Envy chasing. Has no face boots for now. We'll get. The Skyrath Mage and Aloha Dance. He's low, hit by the Fire Spirit. The Sunray now as well. Envy still chasing. It's been a three for two so far. And Aloha Dance says, I'm out of here. Will TP himself home. Good fight overall for Team Empire, it feels like. Yeah, I guess so. They still do have the Aegis, though. So it's a three for two. But they did. Yeah, there's a Radiant Observer on them. So if the smoke pops and they're here, they will get spotted. Aloha Dance gets seen now. Misery. Going to uh, get take hit by a bolt here. They use the Zeus ultimate to get some scouting vision, but not sure if they want to chase this one. Misery getting low, has the Tranquil Boots, and Resolution, one more bolt coming soon. He's going to get the kill on Misery. That's one dead on the Cloud9 side, and while well, Enigma locked in place, brought down by Skyrath Mage. This is the power of the Zeus. You just know exactly where every... And even just mention, like, even the, the nuke damage of your Zeus Skyrath may be so cautious of the, the Pugna Ward. You see Yoki forced to BKB TP out. They lose Juggernaut on the way out, though. The Bristleback was oh. the hero they went on, but Jug ended up dying to the nuke damage yeah. of the Skyrath Mage. And Misery gonna decrep blast, always on the fly. It looks like Skyrath likely to go down, and the Necrobook still chasing Aloha Dance. He's gonna take some right click damage from those, but without the, the Boris slow, it doesn't look like it's a kill. Instead, they're gonna go for the tier 3 tower mid. Here comes from behind your Void, though. Time walks in, Chronosphere is there. Where's your Raw? It's not up, it's on cooldown. Silent, going on Misery first. They're gonna take out the Pugna Ward. Now they can start throwing some more nukes. As Bristleback goes into the high ground on a Big Daddy No-Tail. He's got five TP scrolls. Can he use one of them? It looks like he's gonna turn and look to fight. There's your Supernova. Is he going for the Black Hole? Doesn't look like he does, just in time to save his own life, but... One or two more quill sprays, and this could be a dead enigma. Pops the mech oh, now, Yoki, mech. gonna go down. Bone 7, trying to get some counter kills here. Has a dive available, but looks like he may be out of range. Yoki bottling up is gonna turn and start throwing some quills now. And here comes your Zeus, TP's in, gets used up, but Yoki gets himself another. Omni Slash will finish him off, but his job's kind of done here. Envy returning to the fight after his previous death. Silent on the high ground, looking for bashes, but he takes a lot of damage from the oh, Mask of Madness it. axes. All he can do is time walk out and... Pray that he doesn't get picked off as well. Can they grab? Uh, always want to fly here. Oh, he does get decrept. This should be dead here. Another word down is so yeah. We can't cast. <laughs> we can, but <laughs> almost the <laughs> the suicide onto the Mystic Flare. So Pugna really paying off against the support Skyrath, the core Zeus. That's I think, and and the the core Void. This is uh, this is the ideal support Pugna game. Every counter that you have is here. High mana casting heroes and cores that rely on a small window of duration. So, pretty and cool. Omni -slash. There's an Omni Slash. Aloha Dan doesn't it. really get too much damage done. He's gonna, well, feed away his own life there. And with the Necrobooks up, this some buybacks here, but this tower's taking a lot of damage. No glyph available for three seconds. I'll have it for the melee racks if Cloud9 go for that. And well, yep, they're gonna be forced to- Smoke ganks or something, because the, their team fight is definitely inferior. It feels like if Bone7 plays a team fight well, there's almost zero chance of the Supernova dying, especially now with the Blink Dagger. Yeah. He can really position this Supernova well, make sure he hits the Fire Spirits on the necessary heroes. The main scary one is going to probably be a BKB Bristleback, but... Here come Empire. You mentioned Smoke Gink. We're going to run right into Big Dang No-Tails oh, on the high ground with a black hole on four. They cancel with the Zeus Blink, but the damage has been done. The Supernova oh, catches no. everyone inside a Chronosphere. It's a disaster for Empire. They've lost three. It's going to be four with Yoki going down, and Zeus just runs the hell out of there. They knew that was coming. They must have saw him smoke or suspected it or something. But even without the full duration black hole, that was still completely worth it there. They yeah. even are going to use up the Zeus. Can they get a kill? He's going to TP out. Fada can't stop him though. But 
even with the small duration on the black hole, what a big hole. Out of no tail there allows his team to set up, gives him the half second, one second to get into position. Team fight lost, but I mean, that was still looking bad even without the big chromosphere. He even got the midnight pulse off before the black hole. Like having a max level yeah. midnight pulse off, it, it's just that small duration on the black hole was more than enough because everyone was caught in the chronosphere under the midnight pulse still. Underneath now the bottom lane of Rax, it looks like Cloud9 looked to secure game one. Melee Rax down to 100 HP, no glyph available. Everybody getting zoned out. The Sunray from Bone7. He's played an incredible game on this Phoenix, despite the bad lane stage. And well, that's a second lane of Raxxon. Always want to fly on this Skyrath Mage. 7 HP. Gets back what to the What is Father doing over here? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was watching his Necro book. He almost could have killed the Skyrath at the Fountain bit. Oh, uh, okay. That's... Maybe he wanted to buy boots. Yeah, he must have been mismarked. Side of the base. This makes it a lot harder to come in and fight. From behind, Empire looking to go for a flank here. Maybe looking to prioritize Big Daniel Hotel. Fata gets silenced. Mystic Flare off the mark, kind of an enigma. Lifted up, does not get off the black hole. Fata still alive a little bit longer. Big Daddy No Tell, is he going to die in this Chronosphere? You big betcha. Kill. That's the big Chronosphere they're looking for. Omni Slash does come out with a supernova. That may turn things around. Empire just barely keep their faces for your life. Oh, Stolen Omni Slash, Slash from a low high dance. He's going to get one, but he won't get the second. Misery stays alive, and that but one kill he got was an Aegis Eternal Envy. Onto the high ground we go. It may have been a good Chronosphere, but it doesn't feel like it's going to be enough. That was a great bonus. It was exactly what they needed this game. They're going to maybe... Nope, nice blink there from Bones. That was his Yules. Great fight from Empire, though. That was exactly what they needed to do. They started off the fight with Beastmaster getting killed. They didn't use Chronosphere for it. They used Chronosphere to kill the Enigma. A great Omni Slash from Jug cleaning things up really heavily. Decrep comes. Misery's getting some heal, but he's in a bit of trouble. Aloha Stolen Dance Decrep. Decrep himself. It's okay against Jug. It's not amazing, but it's okay. And fairly soon. There we go. He's going to blink roll Yoki, burn his mana down with the Necro books. I don't even know if they care about killing him, but here's your Chronosphere. Just came up. Envy's the target. And Envy going to go down. No buyback from him. Misery gets a decrypt off on just on himself. And there's your Enigma Black Hole. Oh, Catches out just one stolen Supernova from Team Empire. They don't get the Black Hole still, but still a big steal with the Supernova. And Rubik going to, well, force some heroes back, but he's lost two teammates. Now your buyback comes out on Eternal Envy. He's making a run back towards the top lane. They want to end this game. Get this last lane of Rax. He bought the Scotty on the way out as well. He's really going to turn and life drain. Aloha Dance doesn't get the kill, and he's going to pay for this one with his life. There's your Omni Slash from Envy. Going through the creep wave for the most part. Just catches out one, which is your resolution Zeus. And Yoki just trying to draw heroes away from this top lane. Try and keep the Rax alive. BKB is popped, but he's being body blocked. He's being locked down by the Scotty slow of the jug, and that's a dead bristle back end. Looking like it's just a matter of time before the GG comes out. Link comes forward, Yules as well. They're chasing axes, come through in resolution. Couple right clicks under the midnight pulse, and that's a dead hero. Maybe even Aloha Dance is gonna die. No, no more slows here, and they don't need to bother. Game is over. Final racks will fall with three dead heroes, and no Chronosphere. And really well played by C9. Great synergy, well executed. So much synergy, great team fight. I, I think they played this game, game fantastic. I, their team is really coming home, coming together cohesively as a unit. Yeah, they they just seem to be very just clear in what their objectives are at any time in the game. And even when like they're they, like I remember the Enigma came mid for a smoke cake, it didn't work. He just immediately TP's bottom and then just pushes down the T1 tower. It gets a kill. So 